What's up folks, it is Jafer and nowadays if you make a mouse, you're almost betting 100 that you're gonna have to make a smaller variation of that same mouse when that shape becomes really popular. It's just the nature of the beast, especially with a lot of folks going to a fingertip grip and getting into that whole aiming scene. And now, Glorious has their Model O and Model D and a minus factor that's also wireless. Let's take a look and see if these are in fact Glorious. Glorious's latest offering of the O minus and D minus in wireless form are going to run you $79.99. That is a fantastic price compared to other wireless mice offerings that are out there. Out of the box is going to be your usual, the USB receiver, your charging cable that's flexible to use if you're in a pinch after burning through that 71 hour battery life, as well as two large optional mouse feet to fine tune your preference. When these arrived, I was honestly ready to tear open the Model O minus only because I'm used to a symmetrical mouse. It is really my preference in a type of mouse, but given its small stature, honestly, I ended up spending a ton of time on the D. So these are the mice that I really wanted to compare and contrast with as I was using the O and D minus wireless. And I will say that the Razer Viper Ultimate has been my main for the longest time. So with the Model O, I can also use that. But when they shrink it down to this size into the O minus wireless, it honestly is really hard for me to go into a claw grip. I have no problem on the Model O or the Viper being able to use a claw. It's comfortable. It's not fatiguing. However, unfortunately, it's not the width that's the problem. It's more or less just the overall height and where this is going to slope down. It's only really going to be ideal for someone that has small hands, maybe medium as well, but uh, in the fingertip grip. The fingertip grip is really going to excel if you are someone that does have any interest in this at all. Uh, if you're going to use palm, then you really need to have some really small hands. My hand size is 19 by 10 centimeters, so they're not large or anything like that. And I've used the Orochi for a long time, and I had no issues with this at all. That's because it has that aggressive curve. So if it's small, it needs to have that curve for me to be able to use a claw grip. The D is too large for me to do that with, and I don't like ergo that much. So a large ergo does nothing for me. However, a smaller variation of this, I can kind of get away with it because it's a chunkier boy. And so I definitely feel that this is something that I could use a lot more on and get used to an ergo shape uh, because of its size that I do like and that it's wireless and it does have that rather pronounced hump, unlike that low profile design of the O minus wireless. Outside of that size shrinking, the feel is a lot more solid than the old models that I had previously. They've also done away with the cutouts on mouse one and two, which is definitely a welcome change. I just don't really like cutouts on buttons at all. As with all mice, they're gonna have a little bit of a variant from what's proclaimed on the weight. On the Model O minus, it is stated to be 65 grams, and I actually have 65 on my scale. When it comes to the D minus wireless, it's projected to be 67 grams, and I have 67, so they are dead on with these. As with all glorious mice, it does include the BAMF sensor, which is going to be a 3370 mixed in with Glorious's own proprietary technology. From my understanding, I've never had any issues with the sensor or even the 3370 on other mice. It definitely does its job. If you watch any of my mouth review videos in the past, you'll notice that I tend to go on and on about scroll wheels. I don't know why, but I really am picky about them. And with this particular one, not a fan at all. The actuation is solid and they don't rattle or sit loosely. It just kind of is uncomfortable. The rubber isn't as rubbery as my Model D. It definitely had more of like that rubber feeling where it sits out in the sun too long and it dries up. And the translucent plastic, it just feels really rough. Like there's still flasking on the edges from it being mass produced from production. It's just not a comfortable scroll wheel to simply rest your finger against and then quickly move over when you need to use it. The triggers retain the same comfort grooves and don't have any play with them. The side buttons remain the same size as their bigger offerings, which is really awesome, with only a small amount of post travel in the back. Here's a sound test of those glorious 80mm switches.
Now you might have noticed there's much more of like a thockier, heavier sound to the new mice and that's really because they now have glorious 80 mil uh, switches that they designed with Cal. So gone are the Omron 20 mil which I wholeheartedly love because Omron 20 mils are just in so many mice that it kind of gives a mouse a lot less personality or characteristics when it's always the same run and mill switch that we're always seeing. So it's nice that they have their own switches this time. On the Model O and D minus wireless, you do have 100% PTFE grade feet, which Glorious calls their G skates. Now they are tapered and they do run really smooth. I don't notice excessive scratching on it or anything like that. So whatever mouse pad surface you use, you should have zero problems with. And you do have additional ones that we notice in the unboxing that you can add to the bottom. Now I added these and I didn't really notice any difference in glide. Honestly, I feel that when you do add these, you're just adding more friction because there's more surface area that's going to be running along your mouse pad, but it's nice that they do include this option. Now, one of the benefits of using the Glorious mouse is that you don't need to download the software to use it at all. You don't need to register, sign up for any account. However, I do encourage you to download the Glorious Core software as it's pretty basic. It's not overly confusing or anything. And if you are wanting to change things like the DPI setting, you will need to have that downloaded software. Seeing your DPI settings and how many preferences you want to have within your DPI button, you can adjust the lift off distance from one millimeter to two. And out of the box, I believe the debounce time was at 10 milliseconds. I dropped that down all the way to zero. I've yet to experience any double clicking in my playthrough. You can adjust the pulling rate as well. And you can also do key bindings and mesh it with your keyboard functions as well as your multimedia. You know, the world is your oyster with changing this. And lastly, you have your lighting options. There are different effects that are already pre-installed that you can adjust, as well as you can adjust the brightness, which is hugely important. Out of the box, I believe mine came at 60%. If you drop it down, of course, you're still gonna have your RGB lighting, but it's also gonna preserve some of that battery life and extend it. So all in all, my time with the Minus Twins was really smooth, no issues in any performance or game time at all. I mean, really it's kind of come to be expected given that they really kind of shrunk everything down and provided the same internals. And I didn't have any issues with their previous models either. And it's really kind of a culmination of what's to come with Glorious Now that they've kind of wrapped things up with these two models. I think everyone, I speak for everyone when I say that we need to see something new from them, something unique, maybe a shape or just something that is going to be glorious. Uh, nothing that's going to be a mimic or a clone of a shape with a lot of add-ons or enhancements. As much as I do like the Model O and Model D, they're not necessarily unique, um, but they are still great mice. And I do encourage you to look into them if you're looking to get something that's a lot more affordable than the competition out there. And if you are wanting to grab one, I will leave a link in the description below. And while you're down there, please hit that like button and always hit that subscription button. That means a ton to me. And until next time, I'm Jafer.